Hello, I'm ISBA President Paula Holderman. Today, I'm pleased to welcome Appellate Court Justice Jesse Reyes to the ISBA studio. Justice Reyes is a man of many firsts. In 2012, he became the first Latino Appellate Court Justice in Illinois after serving more than a decade as a Cook County Circuit Judge. He was the first Latino president of the Illinois Judges Association and the first Latino to win a countywide judicial election in Cook County. I asked Justice Reyes to discuss the importance of diversity in the bench and bar. Good morning, Justice Reyes. Thanks for being here today. Good morning, Paula. Thank you for having me here. Now, Justice, you're a longtime advocate for diversity in the bench and bar. Why does diversity matter? Diversity matters because we have to consider our society. Our society is made up of diverse individuals, and we have to make sure that they all have uh, input into our system of justice and our system of uh, uh, taking care of matters that are in court and outside and the bar associations. They have to feel that they're contributing to our profession. And I think that's why one of the reasons why diversity matters. That also provides us with a pool of talented individuals who can bring their unique perspectives to the bench and to, and to the bar. Now, Justice, you've, of course, held a number of leadership positions within both the bench and the bar. But I note that the, uh, the upcoming leadership position is you will become president of the Diversity Scholarship Foundation very yes. shortly. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Diversity Scholarship Foundation does? Sure. Uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, Diversity Scholarship Foundation is actually an organization that seeks to help out diverse bar associations and in their efforts in terms of trying to help out their respective communities and uh, constituencies. So for example, with the Illinois State Bar Association, uh, in terms of their diversity program, the Diversity Scholarship Foundation you know, provided a grant. Uh, we also provide grants to other organizations such as the Asian American Bar Association, Black Women Lawyers Association, uh, just to name a few. And we think it's important to help out these organizations that are trying to help out the community at large. Well, we do appreciate your, your gift uh, scholarship grant uh, to the ISBA Law and Leadership Institute. That obviously will uh, go a long way to helping us keep that program going. You're welcome. And actually, and so to segue into that, one of the things that you spoke about during your installation ceremony to the appellate court was the importance of community outreach as a way to inspire more youth, especially minority youth, to consider a career in the justice system and the law. Uh, can you tell us just a little bit more about your passion for helping and inspiring young people? Sure. Well, our young people are our future, and I think it's important for us to go and to talk to them and to encourage them to get an education, first of all, uh, to continue, continue on, and also to consider you know, pursuing their dreams and their goals, and if it happens to be a career in the law, to explain to them you know, what the benefits are um, participating in the profession and also what an interesting profession it is and how they can you know, help uh, others in regards to their involvement in the, in the legal profession. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing since I've been on the appellate court is I've been going around to the elementary schools and talking to the young students, uh, encouraging them to you know, realize that there are three branches of government and that the judiciary, the legal profession, are part of the third branch of government and the contributions that the profession has provided and some of the rights that we have now that were in the Constitution but as a result of lawyers and judges uh, there are rights that you know today everybody just takes for granted but if it wasn't for the lawyers and the judges making sure that those rights come out of the Constitution um, that, that wouldn't have been available and so I encourage them to to look at that if anything uh, in terms of participating in the profession. My sincere thanks to Justice Jesse Reyes for being here today. I'm Paula Holderman. See you next time.